Dr. Jaffe, can high doses of quercetin dihydrate help someone with histamine problems, such as lacking the DAO enzyme or a similar issue? Well, the, the, uh, the headline, the short answer is yes. Quercetin dihydrate and soluble OPC, the preferred flavonoid and flavanol that we have in pain guard and in repair guard, are known to be a number of things, including natural antihistaminic. They decrease the sensitivity of cells that when exposed to histamine, they release their contents, their granules, their neurochemicals and hormones and things like that. So yes, if you're a quote allergic type of person or atopic type of person, then taking in handfuls of these polyphenolics, quercetin dihydrate and soluble OPC, can reduce, not eliminate, but reduce that excess histaminic activity, hives, wheezes, itching, in the worst case, anaphylaxis. Um, and coercin dihydrate and soluble OPC are zinc ionophores. Boy, that's important. And they do other things like get the immune, the innate immune system back up and active. That's important. And they do other protective things that put you into elective protective mode rather than survival mode. Because when you're in survival mode, you're hospitable to what's going around. Flus, COVID-19, whatever's going around, you're hospitable. When you are in elective protective mode, you're not hospitable. We recommend the latter, not the former, and <clears throat> coercin and dihydrate and soluble OPC are so helpful <clears throat> when you take them in their fully active, more bioavailable form that we pioneered in the late 80s and have continued to make available to this day. So yes, coercin and dihydrate, and yes, soluble OPC, and yes, the polyphenolics that are safer and more effective are better, including in their role <clears throat> of protecting cells from excessive release and activation. 